Hey, it's Birdman for Birdman on the Mountain, hanging out here uh, in a new location, uh, a little different. This is the conference room at the White Mountain Independent. We're going to be making an announcement about why I'm here a little later, but uh, got a couple people with me here this morning for, this is a solo community shout, um, from First Things First, right? Correct. How are you two this morning? And I'm with uh, White Mountain Montessori School. And you're School. with White Mountain Montessori yes. School. Okay, cool. So, but you guys wanted to come together to talk, right? Right. Cool, right. awesome. So what do we what do we have going on uh, that you two want to talk about? It's Tony and uh, Joey, right? Right. Cool. Well, you know, as, as you know, school is getting ready to start. In mm -hmm. fact, in some cases has already started as early as today. So there can be a lot of anxiety and trepidation for parents and kids that are going to school and leaving the home for the first time. So... We wanted to come in and talk about things that parents can be doing with their kids to make the whole first day of school uh, a little bit less traumatic. Yeah, first day of school can be traumatic, and, uh, you know, you get the kid uh, holding onto your leg, doesn't want to let go, screaming and crying, and no, no, no. <laughs> so uh, how are you addressing that? So what I like to do is if parents are able to have a three or four year old attend a preschool first, that is always a great step to get ready for kindergarten. But if not, there's a lot of other ways that parents can start preparing their kids as early as three and four year old to be ready for kindergarten. And um, it's as easy as can they use the bathroom independently? Can they blow their nose? Can they, um, you know, unzip their lunch? Things like that that you might not think of, it's not academic, but it sets them up for success and that they're not going to be as nervous. Maybe you do a run through and um, get them prepared for what the, that day is going to look like going into kindergarten. And, you know, Joe, Joey said that it begins uh, at three and four years old, the preparation, but in a lot of ways it even be begins earlier than that. Kids start learning the day they're born. And you try to explain that and people look at you like you have four eyes. Um, <laughs> but really, when a child is born and he's hungry, he cries and he's fed. And he learns, or she learns, if I cry, I'm gonna get fed. So on the day they're born, they really begin to learn and that process continues. 90% um, of the brain develops between birth and age five. So those are critical years. And the, day, the, the job of getting them ready for kindergarten actually begins the day they're born. You say they're learning. I, I think they're teaching. I'm, I'm in the, the under 30 days moment. And uh, yeah, it's, it seems like they're going, <laughs> no, do this now. No, do this now. No, don't sleep. No, don't sleep. No, don't sleep. Yeah. Right. So, uh, yeah, that, that's the phase that we're at now. Um, uh, cool. What, what else do you want to tell us about uh, the program and, and things that you're doing together? Well, I think Joey talked about some of the things, especially for parents that have kids going into kindergarten this year for the first time. But for there, there are probably a lot of, of your audience that have kids younger than that um, that are looking at going into kindergarten down the road in two or three years. Read to them every day even at two, one year old, read to them every day, 20 minutes a day, talk to them, sing with them, play with them. Um, let them learn to draw and color. That's how they learn to write. You give them a blank sheet of paper and a crayon, and even if it doesn't seem to make any sense, they're learning how to use those tools and, and those instruments that will really help them. And as Miss Joey said, you know, make sure that the hygiene is, is uh, up to date. Make sure they know how to use the restroom. They know how to, how to uh, blow their nose. Get them to the doctor. Get them to the dentist. Um, a lot of parents think, gee, you know, they're baby teeth. They're going to fall out. I don't need to worry about it. But early oral health issues um, can last a lifetime. And, and once they get into school, I read a statistic that a full two-thirds of school absences can be related to oral health. So get them to the dentist, get them to the doctor, make sure they're up to date on all their medical needs. Very cool, awesome. Anything else you like to add, Joey? And also the vision too. It's nice that they can get that vision checked out early to see if there's anything. Um, there's also in the community, if you see your child before kindergarten, there might be a red flag. There is early child find that you can go through the public schools and get tested early. So if you see anything of that early, you know, go ahead and contact the schools and let's get tested and let's see, well, maybe it is just vision or maybe it's something else that we can work on early before they start kindergarten.
Very good. Cool. And I know we've thrown out a lot of information, but if, if parents are interested, they can go to firstthingsfirst.org, firstthingsfirst.org, and you can download a plethora of, of information on child health, on early, ed, early education, and on kindergarten readiness. Very cool. So we'll put that down in the notes below, Great. the firstthingsfirst.org. It's easy to find. Um, any more about the monastery school you want to talk about? or? Um, we would love to invite anyone to come for a tour to stop by and if you don't know what Montessori is about, um, a lot of hands-on learning, individual um, learning for each child, um, a different approach. We like to make messes, we like to use our hands, we like to do projects together. So I invite anyone to come, uh, 421 North Woodland Road in Lakeside. Very cool, awesome. Well, thank you too for being here this morning. Thank um, you, Rob. Thank hang you. out here for a minute, everybody there. We've got a a lot more people actually lined up, so uh, hang on. I'll be right back in just a second. Okay, hey, we're back here hanging out here in the conference room of White Mountain Independent, uh, Birdman for Birdman on the Mountain. I'm hanging out with now. I've got Chrissy, and I have uh, Bob Higgins. How are you too? Good, thanks. How are you doing? Yeah, and she's not nervous at all. No, no, she's not. <laughs> she, she just asked a second ago, is this live? And I'm like, no, it's okay. No, <laughs> and there's there's no uh, shooting squad either if we answer questions <laughs> wrong. So uh, yes. it's it's nice and easy. So we wanted to lighten it up because you're going to talk about comedy, aren't you? We are. Yeah. yeah. We have an event coming up uh, for St. Anthony's uh, stand-up comedy on Saturday, September 23rd at Blue Ridge Auditorium, and the doors open at 5.30 and the show is at 6.30. And there are three well-known comedians uh, that are, are going to uh, do stand-up for us, which should be a, a lot of fun. And it's $25 a person. Hmm. And uh, Mark Cordes is the person who uh, uh, organized it for us from the comedian side of things, and he's well-known. He does the fight night, uh, the Muhammad Ali fight night uh, show down in Phoenix. Which oh, yeah, is, that's right. Yeah, You yeah. know, um, I think raises a couple million dollars a year. <laughs> so he's he's very funny, and he's gotten two of his friends who are like the top comics that tour around the Southwest. And uh, one's name is Ron Morey, and the other is Bob Kubota. So it should be a great show. It should be a lot of fun. We hope people will come out and have a good time. And this is a real clean comedy, isn't it? It's all clean. Yeah, yes. yeah. It's a Catholic school, you know. Exactly. <laughs> so <laughs> just want to let everybody know that. Yeah, Bob Cabot is pretty well known. Uh, if, 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 if you ping all those, you know, Mark Cortez is, is, is in there, and he's done a lot of cruise ship stuff. So Right. Yeah. Um, so how do you factor into this? Well, um it actually benefits a, a really cool cause that I'm excited about. Six years ago in, in Snowflake, we started a carpool that runs from Snowflake Taylor's community to St. Anthony's. And um, it started with an eight-passenger Suburban that was donated to our program. And um, this year, we actually, since then, we have a 15-passenger. And, and since then, we've received a, an insurance policy saying that we could no longer have the vehicle because of safety reasons. Oh. And so that comes up in July of 2018. And so we, we came to Bob actually with this concern and, and said, what do we do? You know, we're gonna lose this carpool. And we, right now we're running 14 kids, six different families. And so he said, you know, let me call Mark Cortez. And so he, you know, started this stand-up comedy. We also ra wrote a couple grants and we got a $30,000 grant in May. Cool. And so we've got it. We're halfway there, and this this is going to help us get there. So hopefully. what we're trying to do is raise funds for a bus. Okay. So that we'll have a good, uh, safe mode of transportation from Snowflake, and then we have a phase two because we have a a very large uh, group that comes from White River as well. And so phase one is to get this going for Snowflake, and then phase two will be to get a a bus coming from White River. Oh, very cool. Yeah. We have lots of, it's kind of inspiring. We have a lot of parents coming from White River and Honda that travel about an hour each way, you know, yeah. every day. And they come twice, you know, to drop the kids off. Right, and you pick, pick them up, up and then you go drop them so off. So we really want to get both phase one and phase two gone so that we can um, accommodate those folks. So that the weekend looks familiar to me. 
that's the same weekend as the car show, is it not? Yes, it's the weekend of Fall Festival. So fall we, Festival. We thought that might be a good uh, yeah. time because there will be a lot of people up here. We've we've heard there's a lot of morning activities yeah. and not too many nighttime there's activities. There's not much going on at night. So, right. uh, yeah, everybody just sort of like goes, okay, you know, whatever we do, get ready and polish your car more, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, after the parade's over, you're like, what do you do? Yeah. yeah. So, True. Yeah. Cool. So there's something to do uh, on Saturday night, the 23rd. Awesome. Cool. Uh, anything else you want to add to it? Uh, just that uh, St. Anthony's is going well. It's a great school. We have 140 kids coming this fall, and uh, they come all the way from White River to Snowflake, and we have a great atmosphere, strong academics, and we try to foster each child's relationship with God. We have a real spiritual aspect to the school as well, and it's, it's like a big family. Very so, good. Chrissy? So that's what we're doing. Yeah, and I think that if people can't make the event, and they and they want to donate still, and they w and they see this as something that that they like to donate to. That they can always send a check or, or call the school at St. Anthony's and just let them know that they want to donate to the the Snowflake Taylor Bus Fund. Okay, yeah, we'll great. drop all that information down below so people yeah. can be connected very easily. Great. Awesome. Right. Thanks, Rob. Cool, no problem. Okay, uh, we're going to segue into a little more about St. Anthony's. Uh, I've got another person here, so hold on just a second. Okay, hey, I'm back. You're hanging out still at the White Mountain Independent uh, Conference Room. With me now is Miss Panda. That's how I know you. That's it, Panda Kazi. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and that's only because my daughter went through your class at St. Anthony's. She so did. tell me, uh, what's going on at St. Anthony's? You're getting ready for the school year? We are. We begin school on August 14th. And we, um, I'm here to tell you a little bit about our pre-K program and our kinder program. Um, it's... It's a wonderful program. It's very family-oriented school. We encourage parents to come in and visit with us and uh, interact with the children during the school day. And um, did, did they have an open house already, or was that uh, is that coming up? Or we had an open house for uh, pre-K and kinder, mm -hmm. and it went very well. We had a few people that came in and took information, and then a few people that were already enrolled that came in just to have fun with us. Very cool. If somebody wants more information right now, uh, can they come in and take a look and talk to you? Absolutely. Absolutely. They, we're in there. The teachers are in most of their classrooms now, put, setting up and uh, getting ready for the school year. We, uh, the kindergarten program is... I'm a Montessori certified uh, teacher, and that's my background, and Montessori is a method of teaching independently and meeting the needs of each and every child. And the pre-K the pre program is gearing in those directions, too, where uh, each child's needs are met during the day, and we, we have a good routine with them, and uh, on... It's a Monday through Thursday school all day, and then Friday is a half day, and then we go to Mass on Friday. Very good. Awesome. Um, so they can call the school and set up or come in, stop by, and check things out. That's right. Awesome. Thank cool. you. Um, and anything else you want to let them know about? or? I think your the doors are always open. Please come by and visit us and take an, uh, you know come in and observe or take a tour. Very cool. Well, thank you for stopping by today. Appreciate thank that. Thank you very much. Okay, still got a few more people here, so hang out uh, here at Birdman on the Mountain. This is the Sholo Community Shop. Okay, still hanging out here at the conference room at the White Mountain Independent, and uh, joining me now from Firehouse Subs, which I love your subs, is Thank Michelle. You. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. So you you do a bunch of different, at Firehouse Subs, you guys do a bunch of different things that benefit local community, fire, and first responders. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. Um, uh, and I want to let I want to let people know they do have to apply for that, but it's pretty straightforward for them to be able to get things. And you've already done some awards with the uh, defibrillators, is that right? Yes. Um, we did um, with the Clay Springs um, Fire Department. Uh, we donated to them uh, four AED units as well as their battery packs, which was just a little under $5,000 for them. Very cool. Awesome. Um, and then you, you've got a new program that's coming up that you talked to me about uh, recently. And that, yes. what is that? Um, every year uh, we do what's called H2O for Heroes. This program was started um, about six years ago by a couple of owner operators down in the valley, uh, Wendy and Jerry Griffin. And um, they did it originally just for their restaurant, um, just to see how it would go. And then uh, they ended up, it was kind of, it was very successful. So they started it down in the Phoenix, you know, area. Um, and the corporation, 
with Firehouse noticed mm-hmm. it and said, hey, this looks like a really good thing. So now it is nationwide. Oh, very cool. So um, this uh, August, September, the, or August the 5th, um, we will be doing our H2O for Heroes. And basically, if you bring in an unopened 24-pack of bottled water, you will receive a coupon that is good for that day only, and you get a free medium sub. Oh, wow. So, and we have um, the ad uh, in the paper um, that's in the, the White Mountain Saber um, that you can see. We are located at 5551 South White Mountain, uh, right in front of the Home Depot next to Walmart. Um, so we've got arranged right now, I think, for the fire department to bring their old fashion truck up oh, there. Oh, the old fashion fire truck. And nice. there's going to be one or two of our firefighters that are going to help collect the water and, and hand out the coupons. We're also going to be set up over in Walmart, um, and water will be donated not just only to the fire department, it'll also go to uh, our police department, um, and um, I think we're going to try and set up, you know, with the sheriff's department also. Very cool. So, uh, you yeah, know, being over at the Walmart store makes it easy. You can just buy it and hand it to them, huh? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, you know, basically anything that we do through Firehouse, um, you know, different ways that we raise money is right now with the promotions that we're running that there is a small percentage of all of our sales that will go to the foundation. Um, we do ask all of our customers to round up um, that money as much as that we can raise, you know, for our community. Uh, when a uh, fire department or police department, sheriff's department, our rangers, um, you know, go online to the firehousesubs.com um, and click under foundation, they can apply for a grant. Um, and then if that grant is approved and we've raised em- enough money in our community, then we will donate that, whatever the item is that they're needing. That's pretty phenomenal. Awesome. Cool. And um, anything else you want to add about the, the program or anything else you guys are doing? No, we just really encourage everybody to come out, bring water, get your free sub, and, and let us help our local responders that way. Very cool. Thank you, Michelle, for your time. Thank you. So, yeah, make sure you stop by there and uh, round up. It's very easy to do. Um, I've got a couple more people, so hang out. That This is the Community Shout for Sholo. Okay, so since we just talked about subs, um, I think we should segue into submarines. And uh, with me now, I've got the, uh, they can see it, the submarine vets, or, or a member of the submarine vets, but I just found out you're not even a submariner. Hey, watch it now. <laughs> I am a, a veteran of 24 years in the Air Force. That's awesome. But uh, the submarine group, we're actually a charitable group, and just because you're not a submariner doesn't mean you can't actually join our our group. Well, that's good. We uh, we're looking for more members, and with being a 5013C, it opens it up to members of the community that are actually interested in volunteering and getting involved in your community. And just like this golf tournament that we have coming up here this Saturday, August 5th, uh-huh. it's it's about your community. Cool. So um, tell me a little bit, now you're looking for more people to be in the golf tournament? Uh, we are looking for golfers, yes. Golfers, yes. And uh, uh, if, uh, we ha- if you're interested in still being a whole sponsor, you can definitely call me, um, 928-207-0529. And we'll, we'll put bird, that down below. And the Birdman, he ha- will have uh, that information. <laughs> but we, anyway, we have a golf tournament this Saturday out at Snowflake Community Golf Course. The registration is from 7 to 9, and during that 7 to 9, there's a silent auction of a number of items that have been donated by some of our businesses in this area. Businesses that understand that all the money we raise stays in this area, and it all comes back to them. So we donate to Living Hope, Safe House, Love's Kitchen, and a number of different other organizations And you can see my shirt here is actually from a White Mountain Apache softball team that went to Nobby uh, two years ago. Oh, cool. So we've donated to this year to uh, the league, Sholo's Little League. So as we're approached by different organizations, we try to do what we can to help out this community. And, of course, whatever money we contribute goes right back into it. It's like this uniform. It was bought through a business on the hill we don't we do not support any national organizations but 
If you have a national organization that is working here, we will make sure that whatever we contribute stays here. So tell me, how much is it to golf? Um, uh, and, it uh, is seventy-five dollars. Okay. To for one for one individual person, and you get, of course, green fees, cart. You get fed. You get to have some uh, fun out on the course, not only with with uh, just hitting the ball around and chasing around the field, but uh, <laughs> we have the longest hole. We have beat the dealer. We have closest to the pin. And I think there may be a couple other surprises that uh, as you're out there playing, uh, you'll find that makes the game a little bit more fun and a little bit more camaraderie with uh, the people out there. We have... Uh, prior to uh, 9 o'clock, we'll have, of course, the silent auction, and we'll have uh, raffles going on. So it, from 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock, there also are going to be coffee by Pure Station donated, and donated also are donuts by White Mountain Donuts. Imagine that. So I'm going to tell you, you, you get, come early, sign up, check out the raffle, check out the silent auction, enjoy a, a coffee or donut or a mimoso or uh, Bloody Mary or whatever uh, whatever makes you happy in the morning. Very cool. And, you know, I, did, I realized we never introduced you. Oh, by the way, I'm Jim Gerard. I am from the White Mountain Base Submarine Veterans. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Anything else? Uh, you know... I think that says it all. Very cool. And finally, thank you. thank you for your service. Hey, thank you. So uh, we've got one more person up here. It's going to be a Chamber of Commerce. i got Jimmy Applegate. He's been patiently waiting the entire time. So hang on, and we'll be right back. Okay, hey, finally, uh, this is a pretty long show today. So hanging out here at the White Mountain Independent uh, Conference Room, I'm Birdman, of course. Uh, with me now joining is Mr. Jimmy Applegate. How are you, Peace. sir? Peace. I'm good. How are you guys doing? Good. Um, and I don't know how they're doing because they can't answer. <laughs> they they just did. They said, cool, Jimmy. I they com they're going to comment and give you a thumbs up. There you go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Right. Yep, there you go. Cool. So we're going to talk about Derby Down to Deuce. Is that right? No, we're not ah, talking ah, Because ah, he said that. <laughs> That's so what's no. on my mind. Is <laughs> why? Because it's not till next June. <clears throat> not till next June, but still a lot of money going there's there. There's still a lot of money going in there, and there's still a lot of effort that takes place to get that thing in going. Yeah. And so. It's all ongoing. Believe me, we're already talking about next year's uh, yeah. Sholo days. But October is when the first meeting is for the Derby. This weekend. This weekend. Is something One of else. the busiest weekends in the mountain. Yeah, if crazy. I If anybody walks in and says, man, there's nothing going on this weekend, I'm going to slap it them. Mac I'm smack them upside the head them. because there's way too many events almost. There is. Yeah. Hanger dances this weekend. You Hanger dances this that. weekend. We have the Outdoor Expo going on. Uh, the sub the sub have the, have the go yeah. golf. There's another golf tournament. There's another had a breakfast thing, yeah. meeting this morning. Mm -hmm. There's probably 50-some people in the room. I said, who can name all the stuff? All of us together, name all the stuff mm -hmm. this weekend. We still didn't do it. There's yeah, and, and I didn't make breakfast because mountain. baby. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Maybe. Sleep. No. Yeah. Sorry about that. <coughs> Only a couple sorry, not and... sorry. I slept. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I had to catch up. What's going on? Outdoor Expo. It's cool, man. It's a good event. So we've done a, a, an expo, a business expo with the chamber for six, seven years now. Mm -hmm. Last year, we converted it into an outdoor expo, quarter outdoor theme, hunting, fishing. And it's funny because we're sports. sort of like an outdoor community. Yeah, and that's what needed to happen. To start. <laughs> yeah, that's what really needed to happen is that we're, you know, we need to put it someplace where everybody will see it and we need to make it a theme that people that come up to the White Mountains are attracted to. And, of course, that's everything outdoors. And so we did that. Uh, we uh, we parked it in front of uh, Sportsman's Warehouse, uh, uh, Harbor Freight. And Ed that Sands, lot. Harbor Freight, right next to Taco Bell. Yeah, yep. right. So that's, that's a park, Pineway Plaza. It's actually the biggest parking lot in the White Mountains uh, with the most businesses in it. And so uh, right up next to the road, big giant circus tent, 100 foot by 30 foot. And people driving down the road see the tent. They pull right in. Uh, people coming into shopping in that plaza see the tent. They come right in. Uh, it's uh, it's a pretty good event. So it's from 8 to 3. By about 8.30, we're starting to get busy. By 9, we're busy, and then we're busy until 3. So it's, yeah. it's a... Yeah. it goes all the way to the end. So. Yeah, it sure does. Very cool. So uh, we want everybody to come up and check that out. Yeah. Um, obviously, the morning breakfast was this morning. Yeah. What else going on for the chamber this month? Derby down the deuce. No. Yes. <laughs> there'll be a derby down the deuce booth at the outdoor And Expo. there'll be a car there. Actually, I think the winner of the... Uh, the designer, uh, design design. category, okay. uh, his car will be there. He took home $1,500 for designing that car. It's a cool car. It's out of an old, old refrigerator. 
and it looks like an old rat rod. Yeah, that's very cool. It's pretty cool looking, but uh, I think that's the car we'll display in a new banner. And uh, Anyway. Awesome. Cool. So, yeah. Well, thank you for your time. Appreciate you it. You got to tell us why we're here? Uh, we're going to get that there. Later. We're going to get there later. Top secret. Yeah, you can't cool. tell anybody. No. Oh, okay. So anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the, the White Mountain... Uh, <clears throat> the Porsche station was not booked up. Somebody asked me, "Is the Porsche station booked up?" It was not booked up. So, uh, yeah, no, that's uh, it's uh, there's there's an announcement Mystery. coming, but uh, you're going to see this uh, on both uh, the Birdman on the Mountain page uh, and also with White Mountain Independent. So check that out. I'm Birdman. This is it for the Sholo community shout here in Sholo at the uh, White Mountain Independent Conference Center. Reminding you, if I don't see you around town, I'll catch you right here on the web. Mm-hmm.